we also have a low with that one. What do you have? Đấy, chị mua hết quả dâu nghệ đắp trời quả dâu để cho tôi đi ăn quả dâu Tôi đi chưa ăn quả dâu tằm bao giờ hả? Chưa ăn quả dâu tằm bao giờ, chưa biết quả dâu tằm Có <cười> toàn đi đâu rồi? Đây, đây ạ Đi chị em mình sau qua bên kia đi Ờ, chờ tí Chị đang quay cái bình rắn không? Vâng Cháu lấy một cân thôi Cháu lấy một cân thôi Tôi đi, tôi đi nhặt vào tôi đi Không có nhặt quần nào, có nhặt quần đấy Đây, không thích quần nào Nhìn hết rồi mà Vâng Còn nơi chẳng đi Về ăn thôi chứ không phải về ngâm rượu Cái này không bỏ ngắm được rồi Chưa cho một bát bánh chút nữa. Take two. Okay. Hey, look at this chili. Take three. What do you want to know? <laughs> About the chili again. So, this left most rod that I have is tainted with a, a little bit of chili and uh, I mean with the eye it, it looks potent but uh, it's actually quite tasty very delicious Đâu xin 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 bé em xin bé một em nào. Tu ti mới tu ti mới xin ra lấy một con em nào. Được không? Xin cẩn thận nhá. Ừ lấy con em bé bé kìa nó đang đến kìa. Cháu ngã đấy. Cháu ngã đấy. Cái này phải đàn ở ở bên trên đường cơ. Ờ. Ừ. Đi ra ngoài đầm, đi ra ngoài đầm, lấy cái đàn ở ngoài đầm. You have to run much faster if you want to catch a baby. <laughs> so right now I don't know if uh, you can hear me through all this noise and the motorbike but we are on our way to one of the biggest clam farms shrimp farms oyster farms <laughs> and many more so stay tuned and we'll see what it looks like So um, we're right here on the farm and we are going to be fishing for clams and 
it's not going to be on one of the farm properties but it's going to be on one of these rivers that's flowing from the ocean and we cannot see it from here but the mouth of the ocean is right there so we are fairly close to the ocean we've got some nice fresh water coming in here and let's go get some clams I actually feel them with my feet. handmade rake that is used to fish out all of these clams and it works quite simple because you just put it in the earth or in the soil and you just start raking the, the top 10 centimeter layer and here we have uh, some clams very easy but this is so much hard work because you need to rake and you need to you know, try and find these clams through the soil but there's a much easier way <laughs> we take this water and we just splash it right here so it can uh, kind of like sluice down all of this muddy sand and you'll see the clams just start exposing themselves We just wash them a bit more. And then Tutti just took our, uh, our clams for the video. <laughs> Look at this. But, uh, to me, it just seems like a much more easier method than to try and rake the sand and then search through all of that sand to get all of these clams. So, there you go. Two methods into finding clams in Vietnam. So then, Joe, what are you doing? I'm uh, uh, sorting out these clams because there are uh, some of these between that they look like they are alive and it's got meat inside but then you're greeted with a clam full of sand so I'm just uh, sorting them out <coughs> Those are the big ones. 
Are we crossing, crossing the river? Look at Grace, look at, look at where my legs are. Oh, you can, you just need to swim. <laughs> and what about the things that I have? Bring that ball basket here. <laughs> yeah, that basket is very heavy. <laughs> Show me. Okay, are you ready? Come here so that I can see as well. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so cute. <laughs> put some water in, put some water in. Oh, <laughs> How can you catch that uh, musk keeper? Um. So first of all, mud skippers are very cunning because it's just so easy for them to skip over the mud, skip over the water. But this specific one, I isolated, so he cannot go to the water. And as soon as he made that jump to go to the water, I had this tray in front of me. It was like, bah, you're going nowhere. And I caught him inside. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, uh, what is Grace doing? Um, exploring the mangrove forest. <laughs> and there are a lot of crabs and skip mud skippers. But they are all baby mud skippers. Yeah. And then the one array. Where's the big one? Yeah, the I'm parents one, yeah, the grandparents one. You see, you can see a lot of people use this to walk through. Are you stuck? Well, just keep walking, just keep walking. <laughs> so 
This is top life. This is top life to, to watch her head. To keep moving on. Well, you just need to uh, suck it up and uh, keep working. <laughs> You almost sunk into the mud. You almost became one with Mother Earth. <laughs> 